Our ego is our personality. We live in a society that values proof facts and a scientific approach, so we have given our mind the control of our feelings, life, direction, and everything. Whenever we are in doubt, we ignore our heart and follow our mind. After all, it's logical. But we cannot comprehend with our minds the full power of the universe, even though we have theories that explain everything deep inside we know there must be a greater force that glues everything together in perfect harmony. And this is the mind that falls into the trap of the maya or illusion, that the physical world is limited and that our resources are scarce. They are not. The fear of scarcity is due to lack of trust and tells us that there is logically not enough to go around setting in motion a destructive chain of events of ongoing competition and struggle to survive. But this is not really so. At certain moments of our lives, our minds are not strong enough to explain the reasons why we were in a specific situation, and our minds alone cannot find a way out either. It is then that we ask God for help. Surrendering to the great encompassing force of the universe implies that the death of our ego must take its rightful place, which is to help us to observe and absorb information from the external world, but certainly not attempt to direct our lives. Since it lacks the necessary perspective of higher wisdom required to do so, recognizing resistance is painful, but we know that where there is resistance, there is no flow. Where there is resistance, there is no surrender. Not until we accept a greater plan, one where we may be a small but significant part, equal to others, there is no comparison, there is no judgment. We are all worthy. This can be a difficult exercise, but the objective is to start realizing the situations and attitudes where you feel resistance. So you can become aware of what areas in your life need focus and as you become aware you will learn to accept with humility and patience that your development takes time not until the fruit is ripe can it be eaten until that time when you have built your inner matrix ground and established it you will not be able to share your gifts with the world in a sustainable or beneficial way so please write here your notes and come back when you are ready.